Alright, this is the last particular type of slope we're going to do. We did a positive, we did a negative slope, we did a zero slope, which was a horizontal line, and now we're going to do a vertical slope, which is undefined. Um, there's a story I tell for this one. Let's see what happens here. I'll tell you exactly what it means. I learned this, uh, well you can learn this one of two ways. You can either be a Hollywood A-list celebrity, or you can be a math teacher. And I've done both, so, you know, it's pretty natural that I know about this. I'll get to that in just a moment. I'm going to call this x1 and y1, x2 and y2. I'm going to plug it in or substitute it into our formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or x sub 1. Put parentheses about, about both, make them both quantities. You have negative 4 over 0. If you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get error or domain error. It just means this. It just means that it's undefined. Now, you might not believe this, but I've been in a movie, and my role was important, probably crucial to the film. It was a movie with Danny Glover. So you know it was a legit movie. Although they might have cut out my scene, which would have disappointed me very much. I hope they didn't. I've never actually seen the movie filmed. It's not... They, I'm not going to criticize the movie. I mean, I was a part of it, so it must be fantastic. You know, A-list celebrity right here. Anyways, in the movie business, we learned something, you know, because as, as you're taking acting scenes, actually they only took my scene twice. For other people, they had to take it more. I guess when you're working with a professional, it's pretty easy. Anyways, when you're acting, you learn about one of these concepts in math, and you learn about this type of slope in mathematics. Now, when you see movies and somebody jumps off a cliff, or, or they jump off a um, I don't know, building or something, whether they're parachuting or whatever, they're just jumping off, you think they say, ah, but math teachers and Hollywood A-list celebrities know that's not true. What the person actually says as they jump off, and occasionally if you've got a few students who probably have heard the joke before, you know, through the grapevine, they already know what's coming, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyways. They don't scream, ah, they scream, undefined, as they keep falling and falling and falling. That's why a vertical slope is undefined. Actually, that's not true. That's not the reason. It's not because somebody screams undefined. Rather, it's because the denominator is zero. But I thought that was pretty good. <sighs> that slopes. We're going to start using slope, and we're going to plug it into or substitute in the slope-intercept form to graph equations. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.